Hello, Halber Stram. No! This is Patrick! Always getting confused with someone else? That's because you don't have an impressive business card. Take Andrew Kensler. He wrote a ray tracer that fits on the back of a business card. Now that is memorable. It's, uh, it's alright. I decided to make poor Patrick here a business card that will leave an impression. Instead of a ray tracer, I'm going for a fractal flame generator. What do you think? I think we need a universal language like C. Here's my first draft. Way too big to fit on a business card. Kanzler's card had 1337 bytes. And of course I want to prove that I'm lead too. Let's play some code golf to make it fit. First, I removed some white space. Then I truncated some floats. I shortened some function names. I changed the type definition of floats and ints. Oh, very nice. Look. I shortened some variable names. I removed some common numbers. I replaced plus equals. I refactored the power log log. Raise lettering. Pale nimbus. White. Impressive. Very nice. Mm. I shortened the matrix assignment, I pre-calculated the size of the matrix, I refactored the colors, look at that, I replaced some common floats, I removed the dot of the I and the top part of the B, and the lettering is something called Cillian Braille. I decided to not free memory, I factorized some large numbers, I removed trailing zeros and floats, I removed some indentation, I removed the random initialization, I shortened some decimal points. I got rid of color. Good coloring. I removed log density plotting. I removed the random function. I shortened the instructions. I removed redundant probabilities. I removed the maximum frequency. Very cool, Bateman, but that's nothing. Look at this. That is really nice. Eggshell with Romalian type. I removed anti-aliasing. I got very lucky that the size of J was 600. Oh yeah. I'm very lucky. I reformatted some values. I contracted the function into the main. I discovered that declarations can be separated by comma. I used reverse loops. I used a hacky solution that allows for even more reverse loops. I removed some duplicate matrix values. Getting rid of the last few bytes was harder than getting an 830 res at Dorsia on a Friday. But there you finally have it. A flame fractal renderer in 1337 bytes. New card. What do you think? Look at that subtle off-white coloring. The tasteful thickness of it. Oh my god. It even has a watermark. Something wrong? Patrick? You're sweating. 